Religion is usually the tool of the self-righteous man to exalt himself. I can be good. I can do it. I, I, I know how to be good. I know how to practice this. I can do this. I can do that. I can do that. But we forget. Sin is an apex predator. What am I saying here? You know, in nature, there is nothing in the ocean that can beat a uh, killer whale. Even a great white shark will, will run away when a killer whale comes. But the thing about sin is, it doesn't come looking like a killer whale. The most dangerous sins, yes, there are killer whale sins, like killing people, but the most dangerous sins come quietly. I have, I have a very good friend, an old Christian, and he told me the greatest sins he struggled with are pride, the sin of self. As a Christian, starting to look at self, if I'm not careful, if I stand here in front of you, I stand here for me, and that is deadly. Why? When sin enters a life, it leads us astray, no matter how small. It distracts us from God. It, it dulls the senses. And that is why so many Christians struggle to be faithful, because we learned about Christ, the greatest truth, the truth that matters most, and we came running to Him, and after He set us free, we look at ourselves and start running to ourselves again. And those are the most dangerous sins that then lead to bigger sins. There is only one thing that can defeat sin, the blood of Christ. And it is always the only thing for the rest of our lives. So the gospel that saves us must sustain us. We are saved, sanctified, and sustained by what Jesus did for us on the cross and through the power of his resurrection. If you add, or subtract from the cross, even if it is to factor in something biblically mandated, like prayer and evangelism, you rob God of His glory and Christ of His sufficiency. Yes, pray. Yes, evangelize. But never forget what saves us is none of the works we do, none of the things we can do, only the truth that matters most. The sin of my past, it's forgiven. The current struggles I have, they are covered. And my future struggles and failures are paid by the marvelous, infinite, matchless grace found in Jesus. Does this give me a license to sin? No. If I understand what Jesus did and how terrible sin is, I will not want to go back.